having won the A-League Championship with Adelaide United, just months after crossing from Melbourne City, Mork earned his first senior international call-up, then penned a deal with Dutch club NEC Nijmegen. Trophies, Socceroos camps and a dream move to Europe, all before the age of 21, but then, reality hit, in the harshest possible fashion. Round 1 team logo for Central Coast Mariners team logo for Newcastle Jets team logo for Wellington Phoenix team logo for Adelaide United team logo for Western Sydney Wanderers team logo for Perth Glory Malk made just three senior appearances for NEC and was effectively frozen out of the team, which was ultimately relegated at the end of the Eredivisie season. So, in July, eyeing more game time in a World Cup year, Moore collected to take up a season-long loan move back to the A-League with Melbourne City. The 21-year-old said had taken plenty of learnings from a tough and at times lonely experience in Europe, and confirmed he planned to return there in the future. Stefan Mork at NEC in the Dutch Eredivisie. Photo supplied source supplied he think it's extremely tough. It's probably something that you can't actually explain to other people unless they've gone through that themselves, Mork told FoxSports.com. But it's something that I think is a positive experience because I feel like I'm stronger from it. I may be didnt get the game time that I wanted, but I think other things that you need to improve in your career. At that point in time, I could really hone in on those things. Off the field, I realized that when you do make the move overseas, it's very lonely at times. So my aim is to go back there and hopefully next time I do go back in more equipped for the challenge, Mork established himself as one of Australia's hottest young prospects during his time in the A-League. Live stream the Hyundai A-League 201718 season on Fox Sports. Get your free two-week Fox Dell Now trial and start watching in minutes. Sign up now greater than but he admitted the ruthless nature of European football, where multiple players are fighting it out for one spot, had caught him unawares, I think it's just the professionalism of some clubs and the way they do things. Here in Australia you're a treated pretty well, sports science side, physio side, everything, pitchers, Mork said, over there you just assume because it's Europe it's going to be unbelievable. But they don't actually have the best of everything. At the top teams they do but the rest of the clubs are all quite small and they're all trying to make their way, and I think those small things are where you're a kind of taken back. The other players there, they're all fighting for the position in the team and they're all fighting to get a move to a bigger club, where here everybody's playing to win things. Over there, people are playing probably more for themselves. Stefan Mork at NEC in the Dutch Eredivisie. Photos supplied source supplied but despite his tough first experience overseas, which ultimately lasted for barely a year, the 21-year-old said he would not he change things if he had his time again. I've thought about it a lot and even when I was over there I thought about it a lot. I weighed up every possible scenario before I went. I spoke to different clubs overseas, different coaches and the decision to go to NEC was the best decision, Mork said. If I had the chance to make that decision again, I think with all the information I was provided with, I would make that same decision. But I think being over there probably the best bit of advice I can give is just to stay strong and not to worry about the small things. Keep working hard and not to lose patience because you go three, four weeks over there where you're not playing and you do get frustrated, but it's a bit of a marathon, not a sprint. So it's just about persistence and eventually you should get a chance. For me at DIDNT work out that way and coming back here was the best option after getting relegated but I think persistence is probably the biggest key. Stefan Mork during Adelaide's grand final win. Picture Sarah Reed Source News Corp Australia Malk joined Melbourne City as a teenager and made 34 senior appearances before crossing to Adelaide United in January 2016, while Mork left City as part of a well-publicised switch with Osama Malik, who is now his teammate in Melbourne. The midfielder said had immediately felt welcome at his former club. It's really good to be back. I guess it's like a second home to me now so it was a pretty easy decision to come back here. He said, I guess at the time it moving to Adelaide was probably the best decision for my career. It was something that came out of the blue and I wasn't expecting it but when the opportunity came up I thought why not oh go to a team that probably wanted to play me more in my preferred position and going there worked out a treat and then getting the move overseas and things didnt work out too well over there. So then when the opportunity came and Melbourne City said we want you, I thought it's a great opportunity to come back here now and hopefully show the fans and everyone involved in the club that I'm a good player. Were more to head overseas again, he would follow in the footsteps of the likes of Aaron Moyer and Jamie McLaren, who each had stints overseas, found form in the A-League, and then returned for another shot at Europe.
Mork, who was Moyes' teammate at Melbourne City, said he hoped to take a similar path to the Huddersfield Town midfielder. Patrick Kisnorbo, Stefan Mork and Aaron Moy. Picture George Salpig tied a source News Corp Australia Italy that would be perfect. I think Aaron Moy doing what HES done is open the door for a lot of young Australian players that have gone over or are still here playing in Australia, he said. He was 25 or 26 when HES gone over for the second time and HES done really well now, so I think it goes to show that age is just a number and really, if you're a good enough player and willing to sacrifice enough it's still a possibility, I guess that was my thinking in a World Cup year, to come back here where people know who I am and to get some game time under my belt to then hopefully be pushing for the Australian. Australia team but also to be pushing to go back overseas, a classy box to box midfielder, Mork has yet to make his Socceroos debut, but has previously been called up by Ange Postacoglu. Former Adelaide United player Stefan Mork. Photo Callum Robertson source News Corp Australia Despite the plethora of midfield options currently at post Ekiglas disposal, Mork said he hoped his different qualities, combined with a strong run of form at league level, could put him back in the frame for national team selection. I think for me, I'm trying to just focus on playing well for Melbourne City and then the rest should take care of itself, Mork said, but every kid I think and every player in Australia has always had the dream of going to a World Cup and should we qualify for the World Cup, I think that's my aim, that's one of the reasons why I did come back here, to try and perform as well as I can and be in Ange plans hopefully if I'm good enough, there's a lot of good midfielders but if I can show my qualities and play as well as what I can and the team does well here, then hopefully the rest should take care of itself.